As I promised, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, if I have any more information about the upcoming Double Barreled Tech 3, you are going to be the first to hear it. And here I am in front of you with uh, the latest news, because we actually uh, received uh, quite a lot of new information from What Express, which is uh, World of Tanks uh, leaks slash news site, a Russian site, uh, always super early with uh, the latest news. And uh, what I'm able to share with you today are every single vehicle, uh, tier 8, tier 9, and tier 10. Uh, names are IS-2, 2, IS-3, 2, and ST-2 as well in the tier 10. Um, all those vehicles uh, received uh, some kind of uh, tuning uh, yesterday, I believe, and uh, now I'm able to share all the details with you as well. Because many of you guys um, are still asking, uh, what do you think, wh how the tier 10 double barrel tank is going to look like now when we have the object 703 version 2 in the game uh, what kind of alpha damage does it have and so on and from today's episode i am able to share uh, all the information i have about those vehicles so without further ado let's get going and uh, let's start with the tier 8 one uh, the is2 version 2 or is2 2 double parallel action and as far as i know at the moment at least uh, it is coming with 100 millimeter gun uh, but uh, they were testing this tank with 120 2 millimeter guns as well uh, like on the 703 version 2 uh, but all the specs at the moment are with 100 uh, millimeter cannons so alpha damage is 300 and penetration 221 by the way all those details are in russian for me as well so i try to translate them to you hopefully i'm not missing anything uh, reload time is 8.15 seconds so on the 703 we have uh, 12 point something seconds uh, stock reload time but of course lower alpha damage 90 lower alpha damage and you get 8.15 second reload time so if you decide to take the double barrel action uh, your alpha damage is 600 uh, reload time for the both guns is the 16.3 seconds uh, four second cooldown between shots and uh, two shells in the magazine uh, the shell preparation time takes uh, two seconds if you want to fire the both guns at the same time and after that your gun or your reload is a uh, four seconds longer uh, hull traverse speed, uh, sorry, uh, turret traverse speed is 27.12 uh, degrees and gun depression is actually quite nice, I have to say, minus 7 degrees of gun depression. Gun elevation is uh, 20 degrees. Aiming time 2.4 seconds, a lot better than on the 703 version 2 with 122mm guns, of course. Mm. Accuracy 0 0.36 and TPM 2209. Uh, I do not know how exactly those vehicles are over here, most likely with 100% crew members and nothing else. Nothing else is boosting the stats. Now, survivability wise, uh, 1500 hit points, uh, hull armor is 110 in the front, 90 on the sides, and 60 in the rear. Turret uh, 235, 140, and 120. And if you look at the pictures, you can see that it is once again quite nicely sloped. The turret is actually really nicely sloped in the front, in the rear, on the sides as well. Uh, not the biggest commander hatches. Uh, front of the hull, 110. It can still bounce, it doesn't have the bike nose, but uh, lower plate seems to be quite a big uh, part of this uh, frontal armor, a lot bigger than on the 703 in my opinion. <clears throat> And so mobility wise it is 51 tons heavy vehicle with a 750 horsepower engine power to weight ratio is 14.72 horsepower per ton and not the worst actually uh, top speed 34 reverse speed 12 kilometers per hour okay decent average i guess um what else uh, hull traverse speed 31.29 degrees per second and finally, this vehicle as well is blind as a bat in tier 8 to get 350 meter view range. is quite poor if you want to boost it over 445 or up to the maximum view range. You have to use uh, coated optics, ventilation and all the uh, view range boosting skills as well. So this is not going to be the easiest, of course. But this is how the tier 8 IS-22 is looking like at the moment. Let me know what you think about this one. <clears throat> Let's move on into the tier 9 now. In the tier 9 position we have IS-32 uh, with 390 alpha damage um, 
guns, uh, so most likely 122mm boomsticks, 2 of 10 with 243mm of penetration. And here are a couple pictures about this tank as well. Once again, uh, turret seems to be super flat, uh, uh, quite a wide, uh, low profile, but uh, super flat turret. So you can actually use it in many, many different situations, in hull down positions. Uh, but this vehicle comes with a pikey nose. So, so far, all the vehicles have been, including the 703 version 2, uh, which we have in the game already, it doesn't have the pikey nose, but this one is the first pikey nosed uh, uh, double parallel tank. IS-3-2. Okay. So, talking about the reload times, 10.07 uh, second reload time actually for a single gun and for both guns 20.13 seconds, 5 second reload time between shots and the two shells, okay. Uh, double shot preparation is uh, 2.5 seconds and 4 second cooldown once again, so if you fire both guns, uh, your reload is going to be 24.13 seconds. Uh, uh, turret rotation speed 22.95 degrees and gun depression is even better, minus 8 degrees of gun depression. Uh, just um, by thinking um, how low profile the turret was, you can actually hide basically all your weak spots and you can play this tank in super tricky situations actually. Minus 8 degrees, I'm surprised if it stays like this, of course. As always, keep in mind, everything is subject to chains. Now, talking about gun handling, um, other gun handling stats, uh, aiming time 2.88 seconds, accuracy 0 0.38 and DPM 2324, so the stock DPM is not as much or as uh, uh, too much bigger than in the tier 8. Uh, but of course, if you fire single shots, uh, 390 alpha damage, uh, then followed by a double parallel shot, of course, you can take out targets a lot faster and more effectively. Uh, sometimes, in some situations, of course. Uh, talking about the survivability, 1800 hit points, uh, frontal armor, uh, 145, 90 on the sides, and 60 in the rear of the hull, turret, 280 in the front, 150 on the sides, and 130 in the rear of the turret. So so frontally, and um, if completely hull down, this tank is going to be one tough nut uh, to crack, one tough nut to dig out, basically, from the hull down positions. Next up we have mobility, 55 tons heavy vehicle with 780 horsepower engine and 14.06 power to weight ratio. Top speed numbers, 38 moving forward and 15 moving backwards. Hull rotation speed, 29.2 degrees per second and view range, 380 meters. Okay, extra 30 meters, this is a lot, a lot better. But in tier 9 we have uh, so many vehicles already with 400 meter view range as well, so you need to use basically everything available still. So this is IS-3 version 2, a tier 9 double parallel heavy tank so far at the moment. They were buffing this vehicle, if I'm quickly going to take a look at it, they actually buffed the reload time by 0 0.2 seconds. Um, what else they touched? The engine power from 750 horsepower engine to 780 and the power to weight ratio as well raised by 0 0.5 basically because of the extra horsepower of course. So this is IS-3-2. And finally, let's take a look at the devastating Tier 10. So many of you wanted to see how this vehicle looks like, um, what are the gun specs and so on. So it is basically like the ST-1, but two barrels. So hence the name ST-2. And it comes with 440 alpha damage, ladies and gentlemen. It uh, definitely looks quite a beefy tank. All those double parallel, double parallel uh, heavy tanks look quite a beefy ones. Even the tier 8 premium tank we have in the game already. <clears throat> it is actually super, super big and massive vehicle compared to many other uh, heavy tanks. <clears throat> so 440 alpha damage and uh, that means 880 on average if you use the double parallel shots. You are able to see maybe even 1000 damage shots yes you are actually able to see 1000 damage shots from this gun 
If you use HE, you're able to one-shot many, many lightly armored tanks in this game. 258 mm of penetration for 440 alpha damage. In tier 10, it is not the best, but of course this tank is kind of special, so not the worst either. Uh, reload times 11.22 seconds for a single gun, 22.44 second reload time for both guns, uh, 5 second uh, reload time between shots, and I remember uh, this was actually buffed. It used to be 5.5 second gun switching time, aka reload time between shots, but they buffed it down to 5 seconds. Uh, but moving on, 2.5 seconds is the double shot preparation time, once again not bad, and 3 second cooldown or 3 seconds longer reload time if you decide to do it. So if you take the double shot, your reload time for both guns is going to be 25.44 seconds. Now, turret rotation speed is god awfully slow, guys. 16.69 degrees per second. Not good. But gun depression, once again, is really good for this type of vehicle. Minus 8 degrees of gun depression and 20 degrees of gun elevation. Aiming time 2.88 seconds, accuracy 0 0.38, and TPM 2353. But once again, it is situational. In some situations, you were able to deal 900 to 1000 damage shots. This tank sometimes is going to be the king of trading compared to many, many other heavy tanks. If you are able to hit and penetrate both shots, of course. Next up, survivability. 2500 hit points is no joke. Frontal hull armor is 150mm thick, side 140 and rear 100. So this hull is quite heavily armored indeed. A turret uh, 300 in the front, 160 on the sides and 160 on the rear as well. Ooh, this is a heavy tank indeed, uh, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. It is close to 70 tons heavy vehicle with 840 um, uh, horsepower engine. Uh, power to weight ratio 12.12 .12 horsepower per ton. Top speed numbers 40 moving forward and 13 moving backwards. Hull rotation speed 27.12 degrees per second, but once again, it depends how good the terrain resistance numbers are, maybe this mobility can be even better than on this uh, paper over here. Uh, we have to wait and see for the uh, hidden stats, of course, terrain resistance numbers. And finally, 390 meter view range, so getting it above and up to 445 is not going to be too big of a hassle. So this is a tier 10 double barrel tank, many of you wanted to see it, um, at the moment at least it comes with a 440 alpha damage gun, like on some other uh, tier 10 heavy tanks in this game at the moment. Let me know what you think about this one, let me know what you think about this entire tech tree. Uh, you saw how it looks like, uh, you saw the potential tech tree as well, so uh, it is coming from the KV3, at uh, least at the moment. Uh, from KV3 uh, you are able to move into two different heavy tank lines, into IS4 line uh, and into the double parallel line as well. IS2, IS3 and ST2 as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below, because this is going to be my today's video question as well. It is time to give something away, Desmos 2019 is still going strong, so from today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, you are able to win two different prizes, number one, 2500 gold, and secondly, 14 days of premium time. All you have to do to be able to win, to be able to enter into the giveaway, it's simple, number one, be subscribed, because I support, or let's support each other, yes, please let's do that. And secondly, answer to my today's video question, which is, what do you think about this mini branch? After uh, seeing today's episode, after seeing all the details at the moment at least. Do you like it? Balanced? Overpowered? Let me know. Together with your username and your in-game server as well, of course. And finally, if you leave a like and if you join with the notification squad, you are always going to make me happy. 
That is it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Keep doing whatever you are doing. Consider yourself being informed to now. I get you next time with something else. Stay awesome, take care, and bye.